Hi, it's Lockie from Chromacoder. I'm going to give you a brief talk about Mini, uh, Music Room, the Music Room Mini. Uh, so you'll see that we are in a beautiful cherry bar. And so first we're going to sit down at uh, this crouch snare with a Silgen Splash. Um, I'll show you some of the articulations we've got. Um, on the snare, it's very very simple little taster of the drum kit. The main feature of Mini is, is of course, the chord hop. But we've got a little drum kit to show off first. Um, so you see, you got normal snare with dynamics. If you hit these ones on the side, the side buttons that that say rim shot on them, hit them and then hold. You hold them, you'll get rim shots. first thing that's important before you start up the hub so when you start up the music room this thing called the music room hub will appear um where you choose what your audio settings are so you want to set your latency to as low as possible uh i've got it set to three milliseconds at the moment which makes the drums feel nice and responsive um so set that as low as you can um different audio drivers will let you set different latency i've got it set to 48 kilohertz sample rate and three milliseconds latency with um the audio interface that I'm using, which is a Focusrite Scarlett 18i8. Um, you can, some some audio interfaces will get lower than that. Some might not get as low. Uh, the ASIO drivers will help usually to get the lowest latency possible. They also let you use more features, like choosing which out, um, outputs you're using, things like that. So they're the basic ones. So you can also cross stick on the snare. So you just put your sticks across and hit the, the shank of the stick against the rim of the snare. You can see you can still play other notes for the other one. And of course, a little splash here, you can play it, it's got dynamics. Uh, main thing here is you can choke by pressing there's, there's small buttons that say uh, choke on them they're the top button above the touchpad and they've got a little picture of a hand grabbing a symbol because you know that's how you choke a symbol normally the way you do it here is you hit you press in the button and then you hit again so you can do with alternating hands as well so you can hit with either and then So it's just straightforward. You can do a choke with one hand or choke with alternate hands. So that's the basic features of the drums. Straightforward. Um, so we've got the chord sheet here. Here we've got House of the Rising Sun. But So you can hide and show the chord sheet with this button. And you can enter different codes. Um, to enter a code, uh, just press the enter code button. How do you get a code? Well, you paste the code, you paste some chords that you find on the internet onto our website. So just find any chords. Uh, so just Google chords for song you like. Um, for instance, chords for House of the Rising Sun. Paste them on and you'll get a code. You enter it then with the touchpad and the touchpad will have these A, B, C, D, E, F, G on them. You enter it with those ones. So how do we play these chords? How do we play House of the Rising Sun? Um, so to get a minor, you press in your um, right trigger. So I'll just switch to um, showing you the actual view of my view here. Um, yeah, here we go. So you'll see when you press in the trigger, you get minors, right trigger, um, which will say on it uh, here, minor. So you press that one, you get minors and on the other one you see it makes it more minor if you press the other one you get seventh if you press both triggers at once you get minor sevenths you'll see when you press seventh more strings appear 
because that's the uh, seventh. Um, so we'll put we'll start playing this note. So if we choose A and start playing it, that's an A major. Still an A major because we haven't actually clicked in to choose that code yet, chord yet. So we click. Get that sad major minor chord going there. So we're So yeah, you can easily play those ones. Um, you'll see here that we have the different options, so we can choose strings. These up arrow and down arrow goes through through different octaves. So, so you can choose different octaves with those. You can choose. Pad sounds kind of synthy. How hard you hit the strings uh, changes how loud they are. That's the initial velocity, but also you can change how loud they are uh, by changing the height. And this works individually for each string. So if you move through the strings, you can fade out. So you can fade through notes like that. So that's the basic mechanics of how you play the different chords. Um, and yeah, you see it's very easy to play, shift through the different chords. It's a basic lesson on how to use the features in in Mini. Um, we're going to be so obviously pasting chords. Just grab different chords that you like, play the different songs, um, and into the chord, chords the codes with the, the touchpads. When the touchpads look like this, um, so that's the basic things in.